Hey everybody, I wanted to take this opportunity to show you some of the exciting new features that we're going to be able to bring to our players as being a part of the Bombers. One of them is analyzing plays that we use in practice. So the first thing uh, I want you to actually take notice is this is a winter practice. The Bombers um, are able to use large facilities like headquarters and I know for some of you guys it's, it's a longer drive than you'd like but I can promise you uh, the size of the field, as you see here on your screen, is more than almost any club can offer its players. And so um, one of the, the side benefits is you can do team activities. Um, so here, at this practice, we were working on rundown. So I'm going to let it play here, and we're going to be able to analyze this play. So as we start forward here, you'll notice the pitcher steps off, and he throws it over here to my shortstop. The shortstop makes a nice catch. And then what I want you to notice here is the good throw. The ball's right on the money, so the, the shortstop has got the ball in a good position. Now, if we could offer one bit of coaching here, with this much distance, this play was not a bang-bang play, we probably want our shortstop to try to cut that distance down and to give the pitcher a good target. It would be preferable if he ended up right around here when he caught the ball, cutting down that distance and creating a situation where he could either catch him on the run from and tag him or squeeze it down to limit the number of throws. So as we go forward here, I want you to notice because of that distance, there's going to be a long chase that, that proceeds. So as we keep coming, he is gaining ground. He's got nice speed, good form on the run. Ball's tucked into the mitt. Sometimes you'll see the boys running with the ball in the hand. The ball's in the mitt. As he keeps running, now he has to start to pull up to anticipate the throw. Now we can't quite see how close he is to the bag, but you've noticed the ball has not left his hand yet, and he gets closer and closer to the bag. I would say if we freeze here, we want the throw to have been out maybe a half a second earlier. And again, as we talked about before, what I would like to see happen is my first baseman give him a, a good target here and try to squeeze down this distance and make him make him get the catch right around in here, shutting down the distance. Because we always say we really don't want to see more than three throws here. And because of the distance between the players, we haven't squeezed down, down the throw, it's created a situation where you could see more than one throw, uh, or more than three throws. Now, what, I, what you're going to notice is what happens, though, is we hold on to the ball for so long, and then we throw kind of a lollipop throw there. It creates a bang-bang play at first. Now, as we get in here, I want you to notice one thing, is that our first baseman is on the bag. See how he's staying connected to the bag? Well, there's really no need for that. So he's still playing first base as if it was a force play. Well, well, we would like to see him in a more athletic, ready-to-tag position because as we roll this forward, what you're going to notice is he's cemented to the bag, which gives the player an angle to get in. Now, it's hard to see exactly what happens here as we play it forward, but it looks like... I, I think our player was not quite aware that this was uh, he was going to have to apply the tag because he applies the tag late and it creates a, what I believe from this angle is a, is a safe play. The player looks like he beats the throw. So a couple of just t quick talking points is we want to squeeze down, squeeze down. We don't want to make it a bang bang play. We want to do it in less than three throws and we want to throw the ball earlier and harder, giving our player an easy opportunity to tag. While at the same time, the first baseman being in a more athletic position, ready to make the tag. So as you kind of finish the play here, he's we don't have really an umpire in, in this practice, but you know I believe he's safe, and, and I think we can we can learn from that. So you know, hope everybody got something from that, and look forward to posting some more videos.